Hi, this is your host, Sapil Bharatiya. Uh, welcome to the 2023 Prediction Series. And today we have with us once again, Mike Malone, founder and CEO of Small Step. Mike, it's great to have you on the show. Swap, great to be back. Thanks for having me. Uh, before I ask you to grab your crystal ball and share your predictions, quickly remind our viewers, what is Small Step all about? Small Step is an open core uh, uh, venture-backed company, and we build a platform that uh, helps enterprises, DevOps engineers uh, encrypt their network communication and secure their software systems. Now it's time for you to pick your crystal ball and share with us what predictions you have for us. My first prediction for 2023 is I think uh, this is going to be the year that enterprises really start executing on zero trust strategies. And um, I think mutual TLS, people are recognizing, is really synonymous with zero trust. So there's going to be a real uptick in deployment of uh, mutual TLS and uh, um, certificate-based authentication in internal networks. My second prediction, and this is tied somewhat to my first prediction around internal mutual TLS, is that uh, the new device attestation standard um, for uh, enrolling in a public key infrastructure using a cryptographic coprocessor, which is a much more secure device enrollment strategy, is going to proliferate, I think, um, in the enterprise for enrolling devices, uh, particularly, I think this is important for remote employees, so you can uh, do zero-touch device uh, enrollment, um, but also in the cloud and um, for uh, virtual machines and physical infrastructure, where enrollment for the purpose of uh, zero trust is, is also important. My third prediction is that uh, I think this is this is going to be the year that uh, people really recognize the advantage of um, asymmetric cryptography as an alternative to password based or shared secret based authentication. I think that's already happening with pass keys for the consumer. And I think we can draw parallels there. So a passkey, you know, web auth and security token based authentication is using a hardware bound asymmetric private key. And that pattern of using a hardware bound private key um, has tremendous advantages over shared secrets, which are, um, you know, deceptively simple. Um, people deploy them because they appear to be simple, but managing and securing those uh, those passwords or shared secrets is tremendously difficult. Um, and I, I think this is, it, it's already happening in the consumer space. But again, I, th I see this spreading into um, enterprise IT and production environments. And uh, it, I think it'll mitigate uh, the sorts of attacks that we're seeing like with Travis and Circle CI, where these shared secrets are being exfiltrated and used maliciously. Um, so uh, um, I think that uh, people are beginning to recognize the benefit of asymmetric cryptography uh, to protect against that sort of threat. Thanks for sharing these predictions with us. Now, if I ask you, what is going to be the focus of Small Step in 2023? We are a PKI company. Um, we help manage certificates and, and um, cryptographic keys. So we're very interested in supporting enterprises on this journey to, uh, to zero trust and to replacing secrets with asymmetric crypto and all of these enrollment uh, um, technologies. So we are... Um, we're servicing, I think, what what I was sort of predicting <laughs> just previously. Uh, we support the Device Set Test 01 uh, standard for device enrollment, and we're building out more end-to-end -end solutions for managing uh, encryption and authentication in enterprise IT and production software systems. What are the challenges that you see will be there in 2023, and how Small Step is going to help users and customers kind of navigate through some of these challenges? I think like 2022, we're starting out in 2023 with a, a big focus on folks trying to do more with less. Um, so um, it, ourselves included, I think we're in a really good position as a growing business, venture backed, we have a lot of cash. Um, but, uh, you know, there's a big focus amongst our customers. I think a lot of them are, are um, 
trying to figure out how to reduce costs and drive efficiencies. Um, so we're, we're, we're catering to that, right? So there's a lot of, uh, this is a new need uh, that, that we're addressing with zero trust. And um, people are trying to understand how to do that efficiently. And a lot of that means automation. And, um, you know, that's, that's, I think, a big driving need here. Mike, thank you so much for taking time out today. And of course, share these predictions, focus on the company's challenges ahead. And as usual, you know, I'd like to have you back on the show uh, at the end of this year to see how many of your predictions turn out to be true and get next set of predictions for the next year. But I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks again. It was great being here.